This is uh, the drone video for Tract 4 at Hawk's Roost. We're actually already, obviously, up in the air. I believe we are, we're over about the northwest corner of the property, looking to the northeast. So the, the meadow you see on the left is just off the property. So where those trees start, that's the north line. This is a little confusing the way it's situated. But you can see that cedar grove that's on the property. This is a really large tract. This is one of the larger tracts out there. Um, we're parked at the end of the private easement road. Um, so the extreme east side of the property. And I don't recall why we started the, the video back here. I think possibly we thought we were filming and ended up at the west side and um, weren't filming. So we had to start it up. But this, this is showing it really well. It's got a lot of cedar. Uh, all the tracks at Hawk's Roost um, were logged to some extent. There's a trail there. I think we stumble upon that trail in the ground video, come to think of it. Off in the distance, you can see the truck just barely. Oh, now it's gone. Um, so this, this property, parts of it were definitely logged. You can see that in many different areas. But actually, there are a lot of large trees left. Um, some of these tracks at Hawk's Roost uh, were logged very heavily. This one certainly had parts that were heavily logged, but even if you look at the track across the road to the left of the truck, uh, off in the distance, much more heavily logged uh, than this track four here. Um, and this is going into the first winter, so this is pretty much as bad as this property will ever look. The first couple years when we get some growth, get the leaves back on these trees, uh, it's gonna look really, really good here. Um, We've been dealing with properties in the Ozarks, both logged and unlogged for a long time, and we can we can pretty much accurately gauge what this will look like uh, next spring and the spring after, and it's going to be a massive difference. Um, quite a few mid-sized trees left, and those cedars are great too, cedars and pines on this one. So large tract, end of the road, supremely private. Um, you're going to have, you'll have deer, and you'll have wild turkey all over the place out here. Great, great track for hunting. Uh, if you want to be super um, in a super private location, you could do a, a home or a cabin or a campsite out here. Uh, access on the private gravel road uh, makes it makes it very secure. Um, we just got these tracks at Hawks Roost, and the guys have just begun working on the roads, so they're in really rough shape right now. Uh, just something to be aware of. That's uh, one of the reasons we decided to, to just drop the price uh, because we know it's inconvenient to buy a property and, and have the roads still needing some work but uh, the guys are working on them they'll always be uh, gravel roads um, but they are being improved and we've done that in the past if you followed us or worked with us on properties in the past um, we like to try to get things on the market as quickly as possible and then sometimes go in and improve the roads a little bit afterwards uh, so it will happen um, they still will be gravel easement roads, like I said, and you'll always be better with a truck or an SUV. Now this is where uh, uh, we thought we were done recording, and we bring the drone in, and I noticed that the tire has uh, been punctured. So we had to put a little fix-a-flat in that, and that's a good tip. Uh, grab a can of fix-a-flat from Walmart and throw it in the, the back of your truck. You may need it if you get a, a slow leak. Instantacres.com if this property is still available, you'll see it on the website. If it's not, uh, just let us know what you're looking for. We'd love to work with you.